At the University of Wisconsin, Stevens Point, a team of undergraduate students led by Dr. Mike Zock in collaboration with scientists at Argonne National Laboratory Center for Nanoscale Materials have developed a new, very simple method for making large quantities of patterned nanowires. Once the electrode has been created, this method can be performed on an ordinary laboratory benchtop without the need for a clean room. The thin patterned electrode is comprised of several layers. Zooming in to see the detail, there are two layers of ultra nano crystalline diamond, also known as UNCD, over a silicon wafer substrate. The upper layer is insulating so that any ions from the metal solution that impinge upon the surface can diffuse away and they will not self-assemble into solid deposits. The underlying layer is made from conductive, nitrogen-incorporated, ultra-nano-crystalline diamond. Only the edge of this layer and not the top surface are exposed to the solution so that when the potential is applied to the electrode, the metal ions that come in contact with the nano-electrode layers are reduced. This forms metal wires at the edge of the conductive layer. One advantage of this method is that the wire diameter is not determined by the template at the beginning of the experiment. The thickness of the nanoelectrode determines the minimum thickness of the resulting wire. By electrodepositing for a long period of time, the wire continues to grow, resulting in large, easy-to-characterize wires. Using this technique, any particular material that can be electrodeposited can be formed into patterned nanowires. Once the conditions are found which give smooth deposits, the duration of electroplating can be reduced to give smaller nanowires having a predictable diameter and require more difficult methods of characterization. The patterns of the UNCD electrodes are made in a clean room by a plasma etching process, resulting in holes through both layers that expose only the edges of the conductive nitrogen incorporated UNCD layer. Again, this cross-section view shows that the nano-electrode layer is exposed at the bottom of each hole. Application of a potential when the electrode is immersed in an ionic precursor solution will result in the ions forming a deposit having the shape of the patterned holes. A commercial polymer blend that is normally used for cleaning dirt off of delicate optical surfaces is then applied to the surface of the electrode. The polymer seeps in all of the holes and adheres to the deposited wires. Once the solvent from the polymer solution is driven off, the polymer becomes a microscopic handle that allows the wires to be lifted away from the UNCD. The diamond has very low adhesion to most materials, including the polymer and any contamination, so this polymer helps clean the electrode and eliminates the requirement for a clean room facility to manufacture engineered nanomaterials. Once the wires have been lifted away from the diamond template, the template is restored to the pristine state, just like when it was originally manufactured in a clean room. Duplicate sets of wires can be made in a matter of a few minutes simply by repeating the electrode deposition process. The next set of wires can be deposited as microwires or nanowires of the same material or a completely different material. This simplifies the deposition technique from a process that is normally only done in clean rooms by highly trained scientific staff into a technique that can be performed by practitioners with less training and using low-tech facilities. This is an innovation that is amenable to Main Street manufacturing.